Hello everyone, I'm Scott. Welcome to this video series, QB in a Group. I believe that many people have seen the Rubik's Cube before, and its simple structure makes it one of the most popular toys among kids and teenagers. Adults are also being fascinated by the cube as they try to solve it in the easiest way and also the fastest way. But there is another group of mathematicians who find the structure of the cubes beautiful in many ways, and they can actually explain some mathematical concepts in a simple way. This video is the first video of my series. The whole series introduces mathematical principles of group theory through the use of a Rubik's Cube. Yes, believe it or not, the cube is not just a fun puzzle for passing the time. There is a relationship between different patterns of the cube that can make you easily understand complex concepts in group theory. And today, I will lead you through the history of the Rubik's Cube and define some of its basic features to disassemble the tiny puzzle into smaller parts for analysis. The history of the Rubik's Cube can be traced back to Hungarian inventor and architect Erno Rubik. Even earlier, Larry D. Nicholas invented a 2x2x2 cube. Both inventors wanted to create a 3D puzzle and they find this prototype easy to produce and had so many variations that appealed to a wide audience. And then, people started to compete for how fast they could solve the cube. There is an organization that regularly holds Rubik's Cube competitions and records how fast participants can solve it. It's the World Cube Organization. Now, the fastest record of solving a single cube is 3.47 seconds. If someone can keep solving cube at this speed, he can solve 17 cubes in one minute. However, such a fast speed only occurs by chance, even for the most talented cubers. Whereas in 2003, the fastest record was only 16.53 seconds to solve the 3x3x3 cube. As of today, it's now only 3.47 seconds, a progress that many cubers did not expect. The progress reflects how cubers conduct their researches on the structure of a cube and design and refine their own shortcuts to solve them. Mathematics also play a role in arriving at the solution, and frankly, it's not as difficult as some may think. Now let's slow down a bit. I'm going to introduce the structure of a Rubik's Cube to you. To categorize each individual QB on the 3x3x3 version as a whole, we'll call them unit QBs. You can observe that different unit QBs show different numbers of faces to you. First, if the unit QB only show one face, then it's on the center of the cube. So we call them center QBs. So in total, there are six center QBs. And similarly, if the QB show two face, two faces, I mean, uh, then it's on the middle of the edge of the whole cube. So we call them edge cubies. So in total, there are 12 edge cubies. And last but not least, if the cube shows three faces, then it's on the corner of the cube. So we call them eight corner cubies. So there are in total uh, eight corner cubies. And finally, uh, there are 26 cubies by adding six and eight and 12. But there is one unit QB missing in the middle, so that is not a QB actually. There is a missing uh, mechanism that supports the maneuvering of a cube and allows for a smooth rotation of each row. Now, the easiest way to have fun with the Rubik's Cube is to mess it up, because people love messing things up to break the sense of unity. And by 20 or more rotations of the rows, you'll get lost in the colors and challenged to find your way back to the complete cube again. Then you may wonder, how many variations are in a Rubik's Cube? Are the colors randomly distributed onto the six faces, or do they form another sense of unity? The answer will be a very large number, which is about 4.3 times 10 to the 19th power. But once you dissect the problems into smaller ones, there is a way to calculate this number. But finding the reasoning behind that is not an easy job. We'll finally come to the conclusion. But before that, let's use the mathematical concepts to explain the structure of a cube. Please keep track of the next video, the cube group. 